this mutt here. I know I did a lengthy video with the only touched little based on this story that I saw within an article. And this is about, you know, a girl getting bit by a, a homeless pit bull. So, you know, we always hear stories about children getting bit by the family dog, by the neighbor's dog, or at the park and the dog attacks. But this time we have a child doing something good for someone. And the uh, pit bull responds by attacking her. This girl was, was no threat. The girl wasn't going at her with a gun or with a knife. She was handing money to this person. I'm pretty sure the pit bull has seen money. Seen her with some money. Uh, but this, this girl's handing the, the girl with money. And the pit bull responds by attacking her. So And, and you're going to have pit nutters scratch their head and ignore this. Just because they can put their one month infant near a pit bull and take pictures and say, look, he's so sweet and get likes for it. They can't deny that these dogs are stupidly ag aggressive. Attacking a girl for doing something good. That, that really, in, in, in reality, that doesn't make any sense. But in the dog world, it's it's ignored. You know, it, it doesn't, it doesn't, no, no light is shine on it. A homeless woman in the pit bull bit a man on a Manhattan Street when its owner nodded off Monday morning. So it's not only the girl that was attacked. It's also other people were attacked by this same dog. And this time, it's, it's, a, it's a homeless pit bull. So if you thought, you know, you living across the street from a pit bull was safe enough. Imagine a homeless pit bull. But the owner claimed the dog only acted out because the man started rummaging through her stuff. So, okay, the, poor, the pooch owner, Gazelle Fainis, 55, who lives on the street under scaffolding at 2nd Avenue and 1st Street in East Village, was catching some shut-eye when her four-year-old dog named Red attacked the man who says is homeless with a reputation for robbing at about 9.50 a.m. Uh, I'm still trying to find... The, I don't know why, I thought this was, hold on, okay. oh, no, here, here it is. So, seven-year-old girl bit in the face by Pitbull while giving homeless woman money, please say. And it says, a little girl was giving money to a homeless woman on 79th Street and Broadway was bitten in the face by the woman's pit bull, according to the police detective and a witness. Incident occurred around 3.40 p.m. On the southwest corner of the block, the girl and her mother were walking by the woman when the mother gave the girl a dollar to give to the woman, police said. As she handed the woman the dollar, so this girl handed the woman the dollar. So after she handed the, or put down the woman, put down the money, the dog leaped up and bit the girl in the face. In the face, the girl slammed her. The dog slammed her to the sidewalk, and both the mother and the homeless woman leaped up to try to pull the dog. So this wasn't just a bite and stop. This was a bite, and a, and a pounce on. Homeless woman leaped up to try to pull the dog off, said uh, T. Mardini, a longtime Upper Side resident who witnessed the attack while he was walking his dog, so another dog nutter, on the block. Another man in a marine jacket jumped to pull the dog off the girl and was finally able to pull the dog off. So, I'll just continue. The little girl was bleeding profusely from the face, so she was bleeding. My prayers go out to the little girl who has paid such an unnecessary price for the... Yeah, so she so she was doing a good deed, and that good deed resulted in this nasty, worthless mutt to attacking her in the face. Plus her mother... Uh, okay, I'm going to say, I'll, I'll do it after. Please put the girl and her mother into the squad car and took them to the hospital. Nardini said the dog was taken to the animal care center, police said. Woman is being interviewed... The 20th precinct, Nardini said, 
He has seen the woman on the corner for years and has often been concerned about whether the woman dog has the dog under the under yeah, about whether the woman has the dog under control. Police say they expect to have more information on the incident later. So, one first thing, um, I guess the mother is didn't do her job to protect her child. Uh, if she saw a dog there, any dog doesn't matter. You, you should not let your child go up there by herself to, to 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 do whatever she's gonna do. So one, I would put fault not entire not. Yeah, I put fault on the parent. I would put fault on the homeless. Uh, I don't want to say that. I I would definitely. I wouldn't. Yeah, yeah, it'll, it'll be her fault too for still having such a worthless mud in the open under circumstances. And as well, it is also this worthless mud's fault because it was the worthless mutt that did the action. Secondly, um, so it also said, so it's not like this is the first incident. So apparently, based on this, uh, the dog has probably had other close call or incidents of biting or attacking or growling at people or whatever. So this isn't the first time the dog has acted out. <laughs> you know, when, you know, dog owners say he never has, he's never done that before. I think that's a lie. I think that's a lie. I'm, I'm going to do another separate video on that. How they most likely lie about that. So again, here we have it. It's not a neighbor's dog. It's not a family's dog. But it's a homeless dog attacking a girl for doing a good deed. I mean, again, parents' job is to protect their child. You know, I mean, they'll they'll they'll, they'll do everything to protect their dog, but they're willing to, you know. To recklessly neglect their own children. You know, if I saw a dog there, I would be across the street. I wouldn't even be across the street. I would be like three blocks away from that thing. You know, I, I, I would not be close to it at all. And, you know, under circumstances, I don't blame the person for being homeless. But, however, to have a homeless person carry a an aggressive, dangerous dog in the open is... is, is I think as dangerous as a child living with a, one of these dogs in a home. The dog in the out open, the dog could either run anywhere it wants and find the child. You could be across the street minding your own business, the dog could go across and attack you. Who knows? You know these dogs just have a have a strange head, strange mentality. One minute they're fine, the next thing they just want to eat the shit out of you, you know. So, you know, there you have it once again. So wait, wait, wait. So I'm in the comment. It says, this woman has two pit bulls. She's connected to a man who often sits on a different corner with the second dog. I've seen them walking together many times. If one of their dog is aggressive, she has a, so it's two. It's not just one. So she's around two of them. Or maybe, maybe, uh. Okay, and then we have this this uh, white knight. It's horrible what happened to this child. But this is not a problem with the... Wait, oh my god. I, I, am I reading this properly? Am I reading this properly? Horrible happened to the child, but this is not a problem with the breed. People need to stop shaming people. But was it not the pit bull that attacked? The homeless situation on the UWS is out of... So now this guy is, is, is looking at the homeless situation as the problem now. So he's putting the dog under the rug and blaming the homeless situation. I don't feel comfortable walking on the streets anymore, even during daylight hours. Money jars should not be in front of any dog. Dogs instinctually protect... So this... See, it's people like this. Is why this dog culture is the way it is. This person is is downplaying 
the pit bull and the dog and is using homelessness to protect the dog. It's people like this. Oh, man. Even when you're doing a good deed for someone, you still can get bitten by a dog. Ladies and gentlemen, this is dog culture for you. It's never the dog's fault. <laughs> this is worthless mutts. Just remember it is okay to hate dogs.